Hello again YouTube, this is Tom from T-Dubs and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to repair your broken wing mirror glass and I'm also going to be fitting a bottle opener to the underside of my wing mirror. So if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like it and follow me for some more videos. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is take out the old mirror. So to take out the old mirror, you can one of two ways. Um, you can tilt it all the way at the bottom so you can get to the top, or you can tilt it all the way to the top so you can get to the bottom. Now mine smashed around the top area, so I'm going to use this way. So I've pushed it right in. I'm going to put my trim tool inside, and I'm just going to gently lever towards me, just gently, because I don't want it to break and just give it a slight pull and then it's off. Now, if I spin that round, you can see that these are the two main connections that hold the mirror in place, along with a couple of bits around this side. So I can get rid of this bit, I can discard that, get rid of that. Oh, hello. Ooh, hey. So now I'm gonna try and remove this cap from the top. So I'm just gonna spin you around this side. And it's got inside here, uh, there's one clip, like a retaining clip, uh, another clip here, and one in the bottom there. So what I'm going to start to do is try and release these ever so gently. Um, now I don't want to break them, because it's how the wing mirror itself is um, kept in place. Um, so there's one, and I believe if I just lift the side up slightly, yeah, that's brilliant. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to release that one, play with that in a second. So let's just pop that in there. That's brill. There we go. Okay, so that's released from the top. Now move you around to this side. And what I want to do is just gently pull this up in the corner here. Probably using the trim tool is a good idea. And just try and, oh, there we go. So that's the cap. Uh, and as you can see, it reveals the, uh, or one of the antennas for the radio. So, now, the next job, I want to try and release this bottom panel here. Okay, so the first step is there's two tiny little Torx screws just inside there. Uh, now I've got a 10, 10 bit, Torx 10. Um, so I'm just gonna release these. I'm gonna take these out quickly for you. And then I can move on to hopefully fitting and working out where I can put my bottle opener, which will be pretty smart, hopefully. All right, so that's that done. Now what it should do is just pop out gently from the top. There we go, it's released, lovely. I've got a nice little area which I can use, which I've spotted straight away, uh, just here. So I'm gonna try and fit the bottle opener in that area there. So let's get started with that. So, Firstly for me, I reckon that I'm gonna try and go for around this area somewhere. It's like the flattest part of the wing mirror. Now obviously, when I've riveted this on, um, there'll be a slight bit of movement beforehand, but I'm hoping the rivets will clamp that shut. Uh, so what I'm gonna to do to start with is work out which way I want it to go, which I believe it's that way. Okay. Uh, carefully, I'm just gonna do the holes for this bit first minding my fingers obviously okay and then what I'm gonna do is try and mark out on the plastic uh, the area that the actual opener needs okay I'm just kind of gonna scribble all over that so I can see it so I've got that and then we'll go to the next step. So what I'm gonna try and do now um, is cut a circular shape round here out. Uh, I might need to tidy it up with a little trim tool I've got, but that's fine, um, in this area here. So what I'm gonna to need to start with roughly is a hole 
I'd say almost in the centre. Okay, and then we'll move. Okay, so what I've done is just use a file, uh, just so I can make this hole slightly bigger. Um, so that obviously when I do that, you don't see any of the plastic, but I can also get the bottle head in to actually release the bottle cap. Okay, next step is to make these holes four mil, uh, and then I can test my rivets are gonna fit, and then we'll get the rivets in. Right, so I've got my rivets, so I'm gonna pop one in there. I've, I've just one and done one in there, mainly just to test it, to see if it's actually gonna work, and it, it is fine. Um, I'm gonna pop that in there. Make sure to give it a good old squeeze. I have to bend that off in a minute. It's not too bad underneath. It's going to hold for a little bit. Um, what I could have done, actually, to make it a little bit better, is probably put a washer on there as well. So, but we'll just carry on because I do have. That's better, another one of these just in case. Last one. And here we are. That come off nicely as well. And got stuck in the doobie what's it. That's handy. Ah, oh, they fall out the other end. Decent. That's probably why this one didn't break off. Just wiggle it around, lovely jubbly. So that's all off, and the bottle opener is on. Um, should be pretty cool. Um, let's give it a test run in a second. But first of all, before a test run, I'm just going to put it back together. So let's get on with that. We've got that in place now. We, what we're going to try and do is fit this back together. So I'm going to go underneath in the position I think it's going to be in. And all I'm going to do is just slide it up behind the back of the mirror and hoping that that is the finished spot. Now, the, there we go. A little bit position-wise, it's going to drop that down. I might just lift that up slightly, actually. There we go. So she's in. So, just the two screws hold that in place underneath and then the cap can go back into place. So let's pop these screws in. Now I'm obviously not going to tighten them too tight because um, they're going into plastic and what I don't want it to do is break it. Um, so that'll just be a pain in the ass. So, Last little screw in here, nearly there. Nice, so that feels nice and snug. Uh, now it's to try and fit the cap on back onto the top. So what I'm gonna do for this bit is come over the top to start with uh, and just make sure that the three clips at the top are lining up before I go any further putting it into place. One, two, three. One, two, three. Actually fits pretty snug. So underneath on the edge, that's probably my doing there. But she's back in place and I've even got the wing mirror is set in the top which is lovely brilliant so the cap's all back in position uh it's all snug down here there's a little bit of rubber there i could probably poke inside if it needs to go inside oh it's dirty i need to give my van a clean um so now that last step obviously for the wing mirror fixing and fitting is just to pop the new glass into place and then we'll check if the bottle opener works Right, new wing mirror glass to go in place. Oh, hang on. Nice little bit of free sponsor there. Wee. Uh, right, so we're going to pop her into place. 
make sure I give her a good, well, a good push, but gentle, because I don't want to break the new glass. And she's in. All that's left for me to do now is get in the van and check that she's at the right angle so I can see what's coming up behind me, cyclists, etc., uh, or exactly see where the curb is so I don't damage my new wheels. So as you can see, bottle opener works, but it isn't a video to uh, try and sell alcohol, so I'm not gonna dwell on that too often, but that is exactly what I want for when I'm camping in the summer. I can sit down next to my van and I'll never lose a bottle opener. Happy days. So thanks for watching. It's Tom from t -Dubs. If you like what you've seen and you'd like to see more of what I've been doing to my bus, then please subscribe, like my channel, and follow me for some new videos. Uh, keep a lookout because hopefully at some stage I will do a video on my new wheels, which are a little sneak peek there, uh, and a coilover setup hopefully going on maybe the same day, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. T-dubs. Cheers.